Joining me now, we do go to Tennessee Senator Marsh Blackburn. She's on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Um, Senator Blackburn, ma'am, you got to help me. You've got to stop this insanity of a new nuclear deal with Russia, which, among other things, is a reward of you know, they're, they're negotiating with Russia, for heaven's sakes, in the middle of this Ukraine business. You got to stop it, ma'am. Yeah, you know, Larry, you have to think about this. Russia has invaded Ukraine. Russia has threatened to use nuclear weapons. The Biden administration didn't do what they should be doing to keep Russia in check and keep them out of Ukraine. And now the Biden administration has had some negotiators in Vienna and they're trying to do a new Iran nuclear deal. And at the table, assisting with the negotiation, are the Russians. Mm -hmm. And part of this Iran nuclear deal would be to bring not only Russian oil that is coming into the U.S., but Iranian oil mm -hmm. coming into the U.S. You cannot make this stuff up. Mm. We don't need a new Iran deal. We do not want to have another Iran deal. President Trump got us out of that. We do not want Russian oil. I don't know what it is that is going to take Joe Biden to realize Keystone Pipeline, that's 830,000 barrels of oil a day. Do it. Stop importing 670,000 barrels of oil a day. Mm -hmm. Make certain that what you are doing is strengthening our economy and getting inflation under control by going back to drilling on federal lands, having leases, uh, go back, open up Alaska, offshore drilling, go back to fracking. We are an energy-driven economy, and right now, you do not have the volume of electric power generation that you need to support an energy-based economy. Senator Blackburn, one of, the, one of the thoughts I have here on this Iranian business, they're going to try to go around the Senate mm -hmm. again, the way, they, the way Obama did. Sure. Uh, so, but you should have, this should be a treaty with the advice and consent of the Senate. And I'm not so sure it would pass if it had of to course. go to the Senate. Is there something you can do? Can you get a cabal of people, maybe on both sides of the aisle, before this madness continues? A deal right now with Iran we've, and Russia would be we've madness. We've already done that. <laughs> we've already tell us, done that. Tell us. Tell and us, have tell sent us. the message loud and clear that we do not want anything that is going to even resemble that old Iran nuclear deal. Iran is trying to get a shortcut to a nuclear weapon. We know that. We know that Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, that is your new axis of evil. We cannot trust any of them. And it is important for us to stay focused on that, to stay resolute, uh, to make certain that we do everything to support Ukraine. I'm pleased to see how NATO and the EU are rising up to support Ukraine and President Zelensky there. This is a time for us to push back and defeat Russia. It is not a time to buy more oil and prop up their economy. You got some Democrats who you think in the Senate who will work against an Iranian deal? <clears throat> I do. I think that people right now, they are watching, they're paying close attention. I have legislation that would remove, um, it's the sense of the Senate to support the U.N. removing Russia from the U.N. Security Council. Ah, I have right, right, another right, right. piece of legislation since of the Senate that would support removing Russia from the SWIFT banking system in its entirety so that they cannot process these transactions for selling fuel. And, Larry, I think kind of the wild card in this, we're watching very closely to see how much China is actually going to support Russia as they move through this. And there again, keeping Russia uh, from cozying up with Iran and trying to sell that Iranian oil into the U.S. We don't need it.